My name is Marlon Blackwell. Uh, I'm an architect here as well as uh, a teacher at the University of Arkansas. Uh, been here about 25 years in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, I was inspired a lot by Faye Jones who had uh, demonstrated that you could have a national practice in, uh, in, places, uh, in a place that you least expect to find it. I want to see your office. Sure, sure, yeah. This is just the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the prelude, so to speak. <laughs> This is uh, where it all happens. This is the big studio, the one large room where all the team is at and, uh, and your where the, words, the magic happens. Of which there are many. Yes. It's not just hard work, we also have a real commitment you know, to making architecture at the highest level, no matter if it's a, a carport you know, or you know, a, new, a new school or something. It's, everything deserves to be architecture. So. What I think we could show you is a little bit more of what, what goes on here because a lot of work, but we also make our models in-house. We do all our renderings in-house, uh, materials, all of that. Everything we try to kind of locally source uh, here in terms of how, how we produce it. Anyway, so yeah, let's go, let's go on up, up, right. up above. So we, we sort of inserted this mezzanine uh, as a figure in our place just to gain some more square footage. Uh, but this is our, our materials library that Ati's been working on uh, with a whole wide range of materials that we can show to clients, but even our still understand, you know, what we're working with. We put pallets of materials together uh, to, you know, go into a building to make, a, to make it seem cohesive and, you know, logical in some ways. One of our, our principles in the firm is work hard and then play hard. But in that order. <laughs> so, and you subscribe to we that? We subscribe to that. Oh, sure. I, I have a, a, a policy that I've always had, even when I was, uh, uh, you know, in practice back in Boston. It's like never work on Fridays, uh, Friday evenings, anyways. And so I always kind of try to relax. You could have solitude up here, but you could also have some fellowship as well. So uh, this is something we call it the cave, and anybody in the firm gets to use it. And they can bring friends over, or we just all hang out, you know, cheer each other up sometimes. So. <laughs> But just, it, but sometimes just kind of pat ourselves on the back, you know. It's just, it's just we felt it was important to have a lounge. Right now, uh, including IT and I, there are 11 of us. But we have designed the office uh, and have already installed the infrastructure for it to at least double in size uh, and even potentially triple if we needed to. So we're prepared to grow and we're willing to grow if it's the right thing. Our architecture has to be useful, you know, it has to be uh, lived in, it has to be experienced, yeah, function. But I like to use the word use because it includes function, but it also includes a kind of more qualitative way of living and functioning. One thing that I try to tell students, you don't design out of nothing, you know, you don't just pull something out of your back pocket. You have to have an imagination that's been filled and then you have to learn how to discipline that imagination. It's enriching and I think that's what architecture uh, has the capacity to do is enrich people's lives.